Hey guys, so I don't think we gave this uh, dragon the, the treatment it deserves. So what we're going to do is we're going to reprint it today using the Giant Arm D200. And we're going to use the same zero filament. It's the marble filament. We're going to give that a shot on this machine and let's see how big we can get it. Hey guys, so this video's been a little bit a little bit long in coming, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I'll tell you why here in just a moment. First off, uh, this video is concerning the Zero 3D Z Marble filament. Uh, it just simply is amazing filament. Um, it prints very easily. The only trick to it is you gotta be sure you use a 0.4 millimeter nozzle or larger uh, to use something smaller and you're gonna have jams because of the way the filament is designed. If you take a closer look at the filament, it's got little black flecks that's in it. And a smaller nozzle will not allow those to flow through properly. And so you end up with a jam. Now, all the problems I've been having lately have nothing to do with the filament. And I've used a lot of the filament. In fact, as of this moment, that's how much I got left. <laughs> I have really ran through it. I've been using it on uh, both the machines I've been reviewing here lately. And uh, I've had a lot of failures, and it's not because of the filament. It's been because of my G-code. And I think what has happened is I went into Cura, and I tweaked some settings I shouldn't have tweaked. So I'm going to have to find one of my old profiles, put it in there, and, and start, start from scratch as far as what I did, <laughs> and figure out what I did and how to fix it. But uh, on the D200, what I did is I started out with this one. And it had such a layer shift that I had to discontinue that print. So I resliced the model, did it again, and that time it printed all the way up to that point, and then it it shifted. And when that happened, I uh, that that model's done. So I found an old uh, G code that I already sliced in the past and did this dog right here. And you remember this video, and if not, I'll put a link to that right up here in the corner. Um, it printed really good. The only thing was there was one pause in the print. And for some reason, I don't know till this till this time why it paused there. But other than that, it printed perfectly fine. No layer shift, no issues that way. Then I printed this one the last. I, I went through, I resliced everything, tried to tweak some settings, and I was able to get this model. And it just turned out great. Um, I can't say enough about this model. This is by Turkham's, uh, Turkham's Tanks on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the video description as well as a, a link to this model. And the detail of this model is just simply amazing. I, I just love it. I did a test print with this particular model on the E180 and I'll put the link to that up there as well. But it just, it is a great model. Um, talk about torture print, torture test for a printer. That one is definitely a torture test because of all the overhangs that, that it has. The only issue I had on this was right underneath the chin, there was a little bit of looping, which I cut those off, and a little bit of stringing here and there, but nothing major. Uh, if I tweaked the, the retraction just a hair, I think it would have printed perfect. But um, I, can't, I can't say enough about this filament. I love the, the look of it. The, the marble finish just really makes your models have an extra little pop to it. And if you like putting stuff on display in your house, 
and you want something that looks like a granite or a marble look to it, you just you can't beat this filament. I love it. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be it for this film. I, I love it, and I definitely want to order another roll of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm running a bit low. <laughs> but anyway, this has been a great print for that filament. And uh, as I tweak the settings on the, the G-Tech printer, I'll, I'll share them with you guys a little bit later, but i got to go back to my old fail-safe one and figure out what I changed and, and get that fixed up. But thank you very much for watching, and if you're interested in this uh, filament, the 03D Z Marble White PLA filament, I'll put a link to it in the video description. In fact, you'll find an Amazon store down there where I've taken a whole collection of filaments and different products I'll use, including the, the printers uh, that are on Amazon.com. And if you click on that link and order anything off that store, it gives us a little something back to the channel. But uh, definitely check it out. I sure appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.